traditional science chemistry topic four groups in the periodic table metals classifying elements and compounds groups in the periodic table alkali metals halogens and noble gases when metal structures are formed electrons leave the outer shells of the metal atoms and form a sea or cloud which surrounds the positive ions that are formed the electrons are referred to as delocalized electrons. The attraction between the negative electron C and the positive ions holds them in a tightly packed regular arrangement. The electrons are free to drift around in any direction, but if you attach a power supply, they'll be pulled towards the positive terminal, creating an electric current. This is why metals conduct electricity. Because the layers of ions um, are able to slide and move around one another metals can be hammered or pressed into a particular shape without breaking we say that they are malleable most of the metals are in a group called the transition metals they all have certain properties in common such as high melting point and the fact that compounds of these metals are colored Here's a quick summary of the types of structures we've looked at in detail so far in C2. Um, ionic substances like sodium chloride are formed when atoms lose or gain electrons um, from their outer shell to become ions. Um, that are then attracted to each other. These bonds are very strong, resulting in high melting points. They conduct electricity when molten or in dissolved in water, and many ionic substances do dissolve. Simple covalent molecular structures like water, carbon dioxide, hydrogen form when atoms share electrons to fill their outer shells. They are really strong bonds between the individual atoms. However, there are weak intermolecular forces between the molecules resulting in low melting points. They do not conduct electricity and some dissolve in water. The giant molecular covalent structures of diamond and graphite are formed in the same way as the simple structures, but they are one large molecule, so there are only the strong bonds um, between the atoms, which means they have very high melting points. Diamond does not conduct, whereas graphite does, and they are both insoluble. Finally, metallic substances like copper, iron and lead are made up of regularly arranged positive ions held in a sea of delocalised electrons. The strength of the bonds vary between metals with most having medium to high melting points. They do conduct electricity and are insoluble. We discussed in topic one that the periodic table is arranged into columns or groups that contain elements with similar properties. You need to know more detail about three of these groups, which we'll look at shortly. Group 1, the alkali metals. Group 7, halogens. Group 0, noble gases. The transition metals are found in a block and that contains most of the metals in the periodic table and they all have similar properties. Alkali metals are all soft, they can be cut with a knife, they are shiny and they have low melting points. These melting points decrease as you move down the group from around 180 degrees C for lithium to 30 degrees C for cesium. Hopefully you've seen the reactions of alkali metals with water, if not do a quick search for videos showing that. Um, when a small amount of water is um, metal is dropped into water you'll see fizzing, you'll see the piece of metal moving around on the surface and then disappearing. As you move down the group, you'll see more vigorous reactions with potassium melting, producing heat and catching fire. If you collect the gas that's produced from this reaction and do a squeaky pop test, you'll find that it is hydrogen gas. If you put universal indicator into the water, you'll find that the products made are um, alkaline. So an alkali metal reacts with water to give a metal hydroxide, that's the alkaline part, plus hydrogen. For example, lithium plus water gives lithium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. All alkali metals are reactive because they only need to lose one electron from their outer shell. As you move down the group, the metals become more reactive. This is because the atoms become bigger with more shells, so the electrons in the outer shell are further away from the nucleus. There's therefore less attraction and they can escape more easily. 
The elements in group 7 are known as halogens. They're always found in molecules of two atoms, hence the two in their formula. You need to know the colour and state of each of them at room temperature. Fluorine is a pale yellow gas. Chlorine is a yellow green gas. Bromine is an orange brown liquid and iodine is a grey black liquid. They get darker in colour and have a lower melting point as you move down the group. When they react, they need to gain one electron to fill their outer shell. As you move down the group, the atoms become bigger, so the outer shell is further away from the attraction of the nucleus and it is more difficult to attract the required electron. This explains why the reactivity decreases as you move down the group. Halogens react with metals to form metal halides. For example, iron reacting with chlorine forms iron chloride. They react with hydrogen to form hydrogen halides. Hydrogen reacting with chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. This compound dissolves in water producing acid. Hydrochloric acid would be formed from hydrogen chloride dissolving in water. The relative um, reactivity of the different elements can be demonstrated by displacement reactions. A more reactive halogen will displace a less reactive one from the compound. For example, if chlorine were to be mixed with potassium bromide, chlorine is, chlorine is more reactive, so it will displace the bromine from the compound, leaving potassium chloride and bromine on its own. The noble gases make up group zero of the periodic table. They are chemically inert, which means they are very unreactive. They have a full outer shell, which means they are very stable and do not need to join with other atoms. They are found as individual atoms rather than molecules. The noble gases were discovered when scientists found that the nitrogen that is produced by chemical reactions is a different density to the nitrogen that's found in air. This led them to hypothesise that the nitrogen in the air must actually contain other more dense elements. Through experimentation they proved this and the noble gases were discovered. Properties of the noble gases include low density and low boiling points, both of which increase as you move down the group to the, due to the larger size molecules and stronger intermolecular forces. Due to their unique properties, um, halo, um, noble gases have lots of different uses, including in airships and balloons because of the low density, in light bulbs and in welding to prevent oxidation, and in fire extinguishing systems because they are non-flammable.